Hey fam, Chi Chi here, welcome back. Brandon Blackwood finally released the catalog for his fall 2022 collection and we have no time to waste. So if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Cousins, are you ready? Yeah. Starting off with the accordion card case. This comes in five versions. They're all $130. This is something new for the brand. And this is good for, you know, a little quick errand or a, a night on the town, you know, out with your girlfriends. I wouldn't say dressed up, you know. I personally don't love an accordion sort of card holder, but the good thing about them is that more than likely you can fit more than one card in each slot. You might be able to fit a minimum of eight cards and you know it's a wristlet thing you know it's something where you you want to hold on to your stuff it's cute for that but i know me personally this really isn't my style brandon was all in his acrylic bag pun intended so this is the acrylic basket bag coming in at 275 dollars and this comes in four colors i kind of feel like this is very architectural interest this is not going to be for everyone certainly not but I am intrigued by this because of the straps of it. So then to open the bag, you kind of have to pull down the straps and then open up the top of the bag. It's something about it where it's just like, you're different. I'm kind of into it. And then the colors that he chose on these bags, I just, can, can we talk about this green though? If you don't like talking to people, don't get this bag because people are gonna be like, what? is that you know and they're gonna come up to you and ask questions or they're gonna be looking from afar like what is that that's that's a bad thing so if you're you're not that type of person don't even bother it's all acrylic and it's really cool like i'm not even gonna front it's just like huh okay but the acrylic duplex purse also for 275 it comes in six colors but baby, that blue marble, I'm not gonna front. Instantly when I saw pictures of this, I immediately thought of a makeup bag. You know, I remembered my childhood when I, you know, you used to have the makeup kit and it goes like that and then the drawers open like that. And I would probably purchase it as a makeup bag and put on the lid of it put a mirror on there look at that i'm creating with you branson but the color of this blue marble chef's kiss like like everything just looks like molten the green and blue i can't even contain myself but it's just it's cute i really do like it like i don't know if it's in my cart yet but decisions have to be made we got to go further down the list but if you wanted just a sprinkling, a touch, a little taste of the acrylic life, he does have the acrylic vanity clutch for $200, also in six colors. And it's basically that top level of the double decker. And I think they're, they're cute again, but it's a clutch. I don't think any of the bags have long straps to them. So keep that in mind. The clutch, handheld, the double decker, top handle and the acrylic basket top handle okay guess who's back in the house arlen has come back on home we have our good sis the arlen bag coming in at 220 dollars for the blue suede and the nylon versions however do y'all see what i see which is that metallic green listen I'm telling you right now, <laughs> this metallic green choke hold on me. It was not in my mental menu, but it's something about this, this, uh, this green, this green metallic. That one, I feel like is going to be very, very, very popular. They do have the silver version. Also, I, I think it's going to be good. I'm surprised it wasn't a gold one. I'll be honest, gold or bronze. I'm, I'm surprised, but the Arlen has come back. And also what has come back, the Bamboo Bee 
card holder and she brought some friends along. She got a pink one, a burnt orange, baby blue, black, dark brown, sorry. Black already existed, but that will run you $120. It is a very a large card holder. I do own one. She's heavy, she can be used in a battle. Just, she got some weight to it. But speaking of the bamboo, this bamboo micro tote, man, we gotta talk about this now. I know TBE doesn't work for me, but this one, it's something about it that just calls me. It's one of those bags where it's like, you know what? I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> we're, just, we're just gonna make it work. I don't care if it's just sitting on on the shelf, the Brandon shelf behind me, just looking pretty. But that bag, <laughs> I want it. Mama wants it. I have no clue where the hell I'm going with this. It's not gonna fit my life. I know I try to be as functional as possible, but logic is out the door with this one. This one is add to cart. I, I already foresee, ladies, put, get your Vaseline ready because we gonna be fighting for this, okay? This one, I predict, is going to sell very quickly. It only comes in this color and it's $330. So, just just so y'all know, y'all better be there. <laughs> Add to cart, check out, and then do what you gotta do. But this one is gonna be top seller, I guarantee that. We gotta mention, you know, the the original, the OG, the Bamboo B Tote is coming back at $400, but she brought her sis along. Something about the silver hardware, I am 100% digging. I feel like because the silver isn't super shiny, it looks like it's matted out. It looks a little bit darker. If Wednesday Adams went to the school in Brooklyn, she would be carrying this bag. For some reason, it speaks to me a little bit more than the gold. Don't ask me why, I don't want you questioning my thought process. I'm not a silver girl, but I think the way he did that silver, I'm, I'm looking at it a little bit harder. Bianca, she is back with seven colors, ranging from $200 to 275. They used to be just nylon, I believe, but now we have some leather. We, we like a little leather moment. I want to say the hot pink one is new and everything else. No, the black leather I believe is new as well. And the white leather and the baby blue. Okay, so the leather. <laughs> the le Listen, I've done a lot of these videos so I can't remember everything. If you want to see if something was in the past, go look at some of my other videos. I'll link them for you in the description box and you know, in the eye of the sky. But it is a nice, you know, puffer, duffel bag situation. I think they're really cute, you know, for those type of girls, you know, with their puffer coats, you know, going to the bodega, the corner store, whatever you call it. The Carol bag, she's not new to the block either. There are nine colors ranging from $250 to $400. Now that $400 price point, I know is a little high, but that one is Python. And that's the only Python they have. They have a yellow print and a hot pink python so i know some of you girlies might look at that pink one and be real quick to add the cart just i'm letting you know that's a python right there so it's a little bit higher but again i always felt like the caro bags were you know post up for the gram if you like that tbe energy this is your bag i always thought they were cute it's just it doesn't work out for my lifestyle and that's perfectly fine I admire it from afar and I bid them adieu. Coming to the mother father stage is the return of the Courtney bag. Again, that green, that chlorophyll green. I saw this on Instagram way back when and instantly fell in love. If we're gonna be honest, this is my top bag, okay? For me, because it gives me the sil, sil vibes, but bigger body, okay? She can carry a little bit more. Y'all know I'm always about carrying a little something extra. I'm not a pink girl, but guess who's questioning everything about herself right now? Me. This orange, I wasn't expecting. Wasn't expecting the orange. 
why 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 would you put choices in front of me like that, that's so rude and because it's crushed is already like wrinkled so you don't have to think about oh well my bag is wrinkled so now i have to resell it mm -mm. she's forever boo you ain't got to worry about it we already aged it for you <laughs> Okay, now if you just wanted something completely smooth, I can't help you. But <laughs> this metallic line, disrespectful. It's disrespectful. That green one, I'm telling you now, again, don't come for my bag, all right? You make sure I check out first and then y'all can tussle. The Courtney also comes with the, um, the va va boom wool on it. You know, she got her lace front on the sides or whatever. So if you want that one, they have returned. I did not know Brandon was gonna bring out 14 colors for the Elizabeth doctor bag. I know I am a huge fan of Elizabeth, but damn, 14 colors, okay. The Elizabeth ranges from $350 to 385. Some of the standouts. <laughs> You already know, leopard pony hair, like, come on, that's that's gonna be my jam. Anytime I see an embossed croc, I, I just think you're old money and she gives off old money. And then tie it in with a, like a old school design. Oh, definitely, that bitch is wealthy. She, she ain't got no 401k. <laughs> she got pension. She got inheritance, <laughs> okay? So that's what she got, that's the life I'm trying to get. She got old oil money. But another one that I just, you know, took a little second look at was this dark blue denim. It's something about that color that makes my heart kind of palpitate just a little bit. I'm gonna keep my eye on her. I'm not saying she's in the cart, but any Gemini's in the house, comment below. But you have a bag specifically for you. The Gemini purse comes in at $300. It's a dual sided purse. But if you hold one handle, it kind of flops down. Just, I'm still trying to figure this one out. She's patent leather. I'm not sure if there's a locking mechanism where you can stand it up or you're just laying it on its side. Either way, it's there <laughs> if you want to indulge in it. Where are my corporate baddies at? I see you, I see you. So we have a brand new bag. Her name is Jasmine and I really like her. Her finances are good. Credit score is amazing. Long strap, just gold hardware. I love the opening where you have to lift up the B and then you pull it apart. It's the same smooth leather as the Nia bag. We'll get to her a little later, but I think it's really well done. It's just something my corporate baddies would love. I think it's a really nice size, like up against the model that they have. It's just, yeah. 275 really nice price point the only thing i would probably be concerned with is if you look on the side it does go up into a triangle pyramid situation so that means you can't fit as much at the top as you can in the base we got to see how this thing stretches open the back side is a little longer than the front and it's a one handle situation too so it's, it's cool. This is a corporate ratty approved. I like this one a lot. A new girl hitting the block is the Kimura bag at $375, black leather, silver hardware. The part of the bag that is just really speaking to me are the sides of the bag. And they look like little change coin purses, like from back in the day. And it's just resonating with me. Coin purses in particular were my first purses, but that change purse aspects just tugs on the old ticker right here. But this is kind of a boxier shaped bag, but it kind of looks slightly squishy, but not too squishy. It's got a little, little, you know, structure to her. She's got feet at the bottom and you know, she comes with a long strap and you could do a top handle situation. I really just like the details on the side of the, that they do have those extremely large tassels, but <laughs> we can work that out, it's cool. Brandon just brought all the quays out. <laughs> he just was like, we gonna do it all. He got 22 different colors and they range from 250 to $275. 
Now we're gonna talk about the big dogs right now. The shearling ones, that's for the 275. First of all, black patent leather, red trim. When I first saw this, I thought dominatrix. I thought strange. Shout out to Grace Jones. That's who I immediately correlated this bag to. And it's cute. Reminder, the Quay bag is not the medium. This is the small one, okay? The regular Quay is technically a mini bag. The shearling one that I'm after is that freaking tan one, man. That tan shearling, it's given the Telfar a collaboration of run for its money. I said it. I have the bigger <laughs> Telfar bag, but the the mini Quay, Quay, she, she's, she cute girl. She cute. She's given all types of fall vibes. The only possible issue is probably the handles because you do have that shearling on the handles as well as, I wanna say this is, what is this? Suede? Yeah, I wanna say this is suede on the handles as well. The whole bag is suede. So I do like the red leopard pony here. I've always been a fan of that. But the thing that I'm just like, was pony hair a good choice? Because if you saw my review video of the Quay bags, in order to the expand the bag, you kind of have to pull on that belt to make it a little bit longer. And I told you guys, pony hair is delicate. You don't want to constantly tug at it because it will bald. So I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of in a, a, a weird place with that one because I love how it looks but I'm also concerned about the wear and tear of it. Now, if you just leave it zipped up, you're fine. You're good to go. But keep it keep it in mind, you have to know the type of person you are. But um, I really, really like that one. But the the pony hair that, um, that I'm looking at, how dare you bring out a black and green checkered pony hair quay? Damn it. <laughs> I'm so upset. I saw that bag and I was just like, just, just get in my cart, girl. <laughs> just, just get in my cart. Like, and I'm usually not a huge fan of checkered print, but if you do it in green and black, yeah, yeah. It's just going to be a yeah. <laughs> Number one, do I need another green bag? Survey says no, but do I care? No, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. <laughs> now, I can't remember if a metallic orange already existed, but I'm just letting y'all know she's there. There's a nice little variety of Quay bags. Just remember, these are mini bags, okay? Another newbie on the block is the Lisa shoulder bag. Now, this is coming in nine colors, ranging from $425 to $780. Now, before you get your panties in a bunch, okay? The $780 one is mink, darling. And she looks touchable, just squeezable. Just, I just wanna pet it. I'm not spending the 780 on it because I just don't see mink in my life, <laughs> but we're gonna go to something that's a little bit more attainable, a little bit more in my speed, which are the leather versions of the Lisa bag. And I think there is a little bit of a discrepancy because the black leather with silver hardware is listed at $425, but the all of the other leather versions are $475. So I'm pretty sure that that is a, a whoops, but if it's not a whoops, you can save yourself $50 on it. I'm just saying. I think it might be corrected once the launch goes. So I'm going to say it's going to be $475 and do with, with that what you will. <laughs> but the Lisa bag, she is giving me Chanel 19 vibes without the quilts. $475 versus how much is that bag now? Over five grand? You decide. Now, I do wish this one had a pocket in the back. I think that really would have just 
knocked it out of the park for me because I would have just been able to put my phone right there on, you know, take it out. I don't even have to open up my bag. But you know, we, we can't have it all, girl. It does have a chain top handle as well as the long shoulder strap. However, it doesn't look like the gold strap detaches, which it's okay, but you know, unlike the Chanel 19, this has feet. So <sighs> give a little, get a little. Like I wish there was something a like a, just a hair smaller possibly. The bottom is running you 11 inches. So it's not terrible. I think I would have liked nine inches. How presumptuous of me, <laughs> but let me stop. I'm not trying to be demonetized. I hope y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all commenting throughout this entire video. Shoot, as long as this video is, comment multiple times because Lord knows I need the engagement. The medium Cara bag in the antelope has returned as well for $650. I like this bag, but I wish that that antelope carried throughout the back of the bag too, but she has made a return now something a little new is the medium duffel this ranges between 315 dollars and 475 dollars i immediately thought sneaky link what is this like is this something to come more luggage hmm weekend getaways size of it makes me feel like this is a little bit on like a, a real quick a little quick something you know i don't know if you're making a drop i don't know if you're dropping a dross it depends on what your lifestyle is i really like the double zippers on the side there's a top zip on the top top handles long strap looks adjustable it looks like this that's a luggage tag to me and i don't like a huge duffel bag because you gotta carry it <laughs> i'm not trying to carry it once it comes to luggage i like to roll it but you know when I have my weekend getaways with my girls, Galentine's Day, for instance, you know, you want something, well, it's not that big. This is like literally a one day trip, depending on the type of person you, <laughs> what you're packing. But I think this is really cool. I think, I feel like it's a little preview of what's to come, which is always nice because that means we're expanding, we're growing, we're evolving. We have the mini Valentina at $285 and it comes in four colors. Now, this is a chain double strap moment. I'll be honest, it's, some, it's small, yes, but I like the details of it. It's almost like a lunchbox. Like it's, well, not really a lunchbox, but it's kind of boxy, but it's not. And then I love Brandon Blackwood in hardware on the side of the bag, like, so when you hold it and you're, you know, people are walking towards you, you can see the Brandon Blackwood like that. It's not the same bags that you see multiple companies doing. And I think that's why I really gravitate towards it. And then we love a good chunky chain moment. These don't look removable, nor does it look like it comes with a longer strap. So this is strictly top handle. It would look a little weird if you try to put your own strap on it. She does come in the bigger version that we'll talk about a little bit later. We gonna talk about the Nia bag now. <laughs> this comes in 15 colors, ranging from $400 all the way up to $750. That top, top tier, she's Python, okay? So if that's above your pay grade, you wanna come down to earth where I am. You know, we have a few textiles going on with this. Of course, we have the smooth black leather. I was gifted this by Brandon himself. Thank you so much, Brandon. I've been enjoying my bag, okay? I have worn her out. I think I wore her two weeks straight. I was very nervous about the smooth leather and I'm happy to report she, she could take a, a lick, which I, I was happy about. I was a little nervous because you know, smooth leather, is you always gotta be suspicious of, but I can happily report that it, it it's pretty durable and I was surprised with that. This is perfect for my boss babes. I really, really enjoy her. And for my plus size girls, winter time, jacket, pea coat, puffer, 
we in there, girl. I honestly have not even used the crossbody uh, strap for this, and I'm I haven't missed it. Haven't missed it at all. Uh, he does also have a black and a green version with some mink on it, and it's swirly. Not not my vibe, but um, I'm sure somebody else will love it. If I had to say something negative about it. The only thing, let me pick it up. And I meant to say it in the, my original unboxing. I feel like this ring is a tad too big. I'm a proportions kind of girl. So I noticed those things and I just feel like the rings are just a tad big. That's it, just, that's it. She might have another one coming. Who knows? You know I like to do multiples. I, even though I just said I'm trying not to do multiples anymore, but I'm a woman. I have the right to change my mind, don't I? Moving on. So we have a new bag, Parker shoulder bag. This is $350, coming in seven colors. If you like a fluffy, something you can feel, you know, sensory bag, this this might be your, your thing. She's giving fluffy Jody bag, but this is actually rabbit fur. Plethora of colors. I love the contrast of the bright colors versus something like fluffy that you tend to correlate with winter time. So <laughs> color for the winter, that's who this is for. If you're a girl who loves her colors, I, I think you, you would like this. And it's, you know, she's rabbit. She's a snow bunny. She's... <laughs> She's out here dipping into it and diving. It looks pretty spacious though. I will say that because I see it on the model's arm. It looks really big. I think this will be more of a top handle situation. Me personally, especially I don't mm, pits with that closely to fur. I just, I, I don't want to deal with that. But uh, this bag is for someone. It's just not me, but I do like it and appreciate it for what it is. The Portmore backpacks are coming back. I believe these were kind of popular and I was a little surprised. I'm not the demographic for it, but they are here. Some fluffy options in a standard black one. You can't go wrong with black. So if you like it, go ahead, get it. Another tote is being introduced and this is a rouge tote for $450 coming in with black and brown leather. I love the fact that it is a top zip situation because it provides that extra security for, you know, those sticky fingers going through the streets of New York. And from the pictures, it looks like there's two uh, slip pockets in a zip pocket. I love, absolutely love when bags have two slip pockets. I could put my card holder in it and I can put my cell phone in the other side or my keys in the other side. So I never have to think, oh, where's my keys and have to dig into a bottom of a tote. So I, I like this. It's got a little tassel situation with gold tips. Now let's talk about these gold tips. I like them. I honestly would have, wouldn't even mind it if there were like little bees hanging off the tip. No, just just something, something to think about. I'm just saying, give you a little some, some ideas. But this looks like a really, really big tote, like massively oversized. Again, big bag energy. She's making her way back <laughs> to the forefront of fashion. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time because I feel like I'm going to butcher this name. But the Chanel, Chanel bag comes in one color for $330. Now, immediately when I saw the name of the bag, I'm like, okay, this is probably a Japanese reference because I believe Brandon is part Japanese or Japanese blood runs in throughout his body. I did Google it. It's a Naruto character, Naruto, oh my God. Lisa Love Bags, girl, help me out. <laughs> I know you like your your Japanese animes. I want to be respectful, okay? It's an accordion, but then like you open it up from the top and it almost like a bread basket. I, I kind of like how it's a big old accordion. And then uh, it's got feet at the bottom. Like 
I imagine once you start putting things in, it kind of expands a bit. Like I, I need to know how this one works, but I love that it kind of flattens down almost, not like pancake, but it flattens down a little bit. So it is a bit of a space saver, but I'm sure I'm, I want to know, does it like, does it do that? Does it, is it an accordion? So <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool. It is silver hardware, but I like that, you know, the logo is at the top, but then you, when you open it, it has the foil. Brandon, I love the foil of the name. So <laughs> yeah, I thought this was interesting. Like you're not gonna see this bag. Sylvia, how you call your lover boy? <sighs> If you weren't ready for the return of Big Bag Energy, <laughs> might I introduce Sylvia. $475, four textiles, huge bag. If you would have caught me into the early 2000s, <laughs> all the way up to the mid, this would have been my bag. Think Louis Vuitton Delightful, Galliera, that big, yes. I love it and it's leather. And she has a long adjustable shoulder strap. Now the only thing about this one, there's no zip. It's just a magnetic button closure, which I'm just like, mm, I wish it had a zip. <laughs> but it's, it's still okay. It doesn't have any feet. Honestly, I would take this on a plane as luggage. Just swish it around your head. For me, this is airport chic, okay? I have a bag within a bag within a bag. You know what I'm saying? That's the bag that you keep all your bags in. When you're going on the plane and you want to protect all your valuables, you put just put it out. Mary Poppins bag. I really want to feel these leathers because I feel like some of the leathers are a bit more pliable, a little more plush. So I'm curious to see how those leathers are in comparison to some of his older launches. This one looks like real, real leather. Like, granted he has been using real leather, but So, <laughs> it's late and child, I'm trying to record all this. Hopefully y'all still with me. <laughs> we only got a little bit left. We have the Tristan wallet. We we don't like Tristans, but um, <laughs> we're gonna talk about the wallet. We have uh, six colors and it comes in at 130. The cool thing about the Tristan wallets is that in the interior, you can zip off like the card section and just take that part of the wallet with you, which is, it's kind of cool. Again, a zip around wallet isn't my personal preference when it comes to wallets, but if you are someone who likes a zip around wallet, this wallet is highly functional for you. I still wish we had a little bit of that foiling on the, um, the embossing, where's the debossing? Inbox pick girl, I'm it's I'm tired, but I wish you could see his name in the foil. The previous ones used to be vegan. These are leather. So if you missed out on it before and you're like, oh, I want to get it, and you're a vegan, you care about the environment like that. These are fully leather. This ain't this ain't what you want. <laughs> okay. So these have been updated. Now we have the. Standard size Valentina shoulder bag. Four colors, 350, one denim, three of them are leather bags. And you, you see how I said it was kind of like squishy and I, it's something about it. I'm into it. It looks slightly boxy. I like that placement of the Brandon Blackwood. Now, is it on both sides? That is the question. I like that it's got some like some ripples in it. It almost looks puffy, but it's not. That's the difference with the Valentina. So the mini one had a double chain moment, but this one has a single chain moment. I like the single chain. However, it is not removable. It's looking like it's not removable, nor does it come with a longer chain option. So, She's not quite as versatile as I would like, but sometimes a bag is designed the way it's gonna be designed. Then you just gonna have to take it or leave it and 
the decision is all yours. <laughs> and for the grand finale, we have the vanity purse that has 24 karat gold plated hardware. When was the last time we heard gold plated hardware? Come on, Chanel. All right now, Chanel doesn't do that. If you were unfamiliar, I think they stopped in 2005, I believe. I love a good dipped in gold moment because it makes you feel like you've, you're spending your money. That's it. That's the hook. It does range from 350 for the regular leather. And then of course, Python costs more money. So she's at $550. A statement bag, something that you're not gonna see all everywhere, all through the streets, on the train, however you travel. I do find it interesting that there is a mirror in it. So I immediately thought that this was going to be a makeup bag <laughs> because yeah, it looks like a, it's a mirror. So I was a little bit confused because is it a purse or is it makeup? It could be both, both can be true. So we're just gonna run with that. But I thought this was cute. The, the handle looks pretty stationary. So I don't foresee that being able to like bend over or bend down. But um, yeah, it's something, again, a little different. Play, not playing by the rules and it's, it's gold plated, darling. Cousins, that's all I got for you. I hope this was informative and entertaining for you. Shop responsibly. Don't forget to come back and see what your girl picked up. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, cousins.